Okay, the unit's completely stained. This is the sewing machine cabinet we're working on. So, all I do is take a, uh, like a terry cloth or a uh, t-shirt material, and we wipe down our wood. And then you want to take and look across the wood, making sure that you don't have any hair or fuzz or anything like that. So we wiped it all down. And then we took a piece over here, just set it on our trash can, and we sprayed this. I'm just using a uh, spray urethane, and this was uh, three coats, all pretty much at once. Get all the edges. So now, I just got this. Uh, This is actually a lacquer spray we're using on this. It's clear gloss. So, what I like to do, shake the can really well, and we're going to get the edges first. A couple coats on there. Walking all the way around it. And I just have this rested on a couple pieces of wood. The spray is so much easier to use. I start the spray way over here. And continue all the way off. Now I'm going to come on the other side. And I'm, I'm going to hit the edges here also again. And you can see, it should look all uniform. I'm, I'm walking around hitting it in all the angles of the light. And that looks pretty gosh darn good. I'm going to go with one more coat. This stuff is great. Make sure I overlap each of my coats. There we go, we're done. And this will settle in a little bit. This stuff really doesn't uh, run. So you can be pretty liberal with it. So that's what it was. And you can see how the color comes out in the wood now. So. There it looks like it's going to be pretty dark, but once we put the coating on it and the light hits it, look how much better it looks. Even this piece over here is looking really good. Now this has been around seven minutes. I'm going to touch an area underneath the hinge and it feels almost completely dry. That's why I like to use this stuff. Um, never be in a rush when you're doing wood finishes, okay? Take your time. It may take two, three days sometimes because of the drying process. Um, I'm doing this for a quick sell. Um, I do a lot of sewing machine cabinets and stuff like that because I like the mechanical sides of them. So uh, this is the, the Kenmore that's going to go in this cabinet. Beautiful machine. And uh, it's all been oiled it's ready to go. All we have to do is replace the uh, wheel here on the, on the motor and we're set. That's a quick easy way to get a nice clean finish. Hassle free. Comes out perfect every single time.